Alright, hi guys, welcome to my channel. This is Melissa, otherwise known as Mulissa or Mew, and today we're playing Life is Strange, um, episode one. I don't know how long we're going to be playing this for, um, as in like 20 minutes, maybe half an hour, I'm not sure. Um, I'm going to keep going to the good stopping point. I've never actually played all the way through this game before, so this is going to be really interesting. Um, and I'm using my... Uh, controller, which I've never used before. So we'll see how this goes. I don't usually use a controller. Usually I'm using my keyboard. How do I run? How do I go faster? Is that faster? No. Is this faster? That seems faster. R to move the camera? So surreal. Famously called film, little pieces of time. But he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay, I'm in class. Everything's cool. Life. I'm okay. From light to shadow, from color to chiaroscuro. Kate Marsh. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black and white? I didn't fall asleep, and that Anybody? sure didn't feel like a dream. Bueller. Weird. Diane Arbus. There you go. Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I like it. I can hear the class laughing at me now. I like it. Victoria? Why Arbus? Because of her images of hopeless faces. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. She saw humanity as tortured, right? And frankly, it's bullshit. I can't believe I still have this pencil case. I should upgrade to the 21st century, but I like it old school. Let's read a journal. If anybody else looked at this, what would they think? October, my favorite month, the best weather of the year. I love watching the leaves change color, turning into tiny flames, but it's still too damn hot. Thanks, global warming. And I can't bust out the big coats and sweaters or scary movies yet. Soon. Kate Let Me Borrow the October Country by Ray ba Bradbury. I haven't read much by him, which caused Warren to almost revoke my Greek geek cred before I held up my copy of Battle Royale, but he nails the autumn atmosphere of small towns. The last time I wore a Halloween costume was with Chloe. I have pictures in one of my old albums. I should find a real Halloween party to crash so I can experience some social mingling. It's that or a Vortex Club stroke fest swimming party, or is that backstroke fest? You so punny, Max. At least I'm trying to climb out of my cocoon. I shouldn't expect my life to be complete my life to completely change after a few weeks of Blackwell Academy. As my parents love telling me on a loop, you have all the time in the world. And any one of you could do that to me. Isn't that too easy? Too obvious? What if Arbus chose to capture people at the height of their beauty or shh? Sh I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max as a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please Tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits. Uh... I'm gonna be sassy. You're asking me? L let me think. Um... You either know this or not, Max. 
Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. <laughs> Very good, Victoria. The Daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's faces, making them extremely popular from the 1800s onward. The first American daguerreotype self-portrait was done by Robert Cornelius. You can find out all about him in your textbook, or even online. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Uh, oh yeah, I move like this. So this is yes, gonna be a Victoria, little Victoria awkward. Victoria doesn't waste a second kissing ass. Huh, photo, this might make a cool shot. Take a photo. Is turning in a photo, so you see the dilemma? I know, Mr. Jefferson. I just worked so hard in the shot, and I'm sure you know what it's like to be consumed by your work. I just really Ugh, think every day butt away, is girl. an important cultural event, and I want to represent Blackwell Academy. You have just by participating, by putting yourself out there in the- I see you, Max Caulfield. Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. Aw, man. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Do I have to? I just don't think it's that big a deal. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you. But life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. Ugh. Bye, Victoria. You're nasty. Get your booty on my face. I can't see. How do I open this? <laughs> <laughs> you didn't tell me how cute I looked yet. I was about to. I'm not paying on you. Welcome look to the real world. Just cute. Hot. Then I might send you a special picture of Charlie. Oh. Because Max wants everybody to see how good she is. She plays it so sharp. I need a serious timeout in the bathroom. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. I hate that class. It's so freaking boring. She's so fucking shy. She takes selfies with a giant camera. <laughs> Dude, come on. Be chill. To all of you, American girls. It looks like she's been gone for months. Imagine a world without you. American girls, I'd like to be part of the world around you. Driving a car by the seaside. Watching the world from the bright side. Empty. Good. Nobody can see my meltdown. Except for me. <sighs> now who would bother to write that crap? What does it say? Rachel Amber is a bitch. Oh, buddy. The last time I got a flu shot, I got the flu. Fuck you. Well... Just relax. Stop torturing yourself. You have a gift. Just turn it, it in. No!
When a door closes, a window opens. Or something like that. Okay, girl, you don't get a photo op like this every day. It's cool, Nathan. <laughs> Don't stress. You, you're okay, bro. Just come to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. <laughs> you're the boss. So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. That's my family, not me. Oh, boo-hoo, poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down! Don't ever tell me what to do! I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs! Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! <laughs> What the fuck? How? How can that be? I was in the bathroom. He shot that poor girl. I held up my hand. And then I was back here. These pieces of time can frame us I already heard this lecture. From light to shadow. From color. Now Kate is being hassled again. And if Victoria's phone rings. This is real. Now, Shit. can you give me an example of a Damn, photographer I cannot believe who perfectly this. captured the human condition in black and white? Okay, if I'm crazy, Anybody? I might as well go all the way. Bueller? Diana. Can I actually reverse time? Go, Victoria. Why Arvis? Uh... Because of her images of hopeless face. Can you give I me actually did it. A photographer who perfectly I'm captured a human the human time machine. In black and white. Anybody? Max, Bueller? don't Diana. freak out. Not yet. There you go, Victoria. Take a Why selfie. Artists? Because what of else would you do in a time like this? You feel when like I took my selfie, ideas. Jefferson asked me a question. If he does again, I I'll know this is for real. What kids call a selfie, a dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition, and Max. Has a gift. I know I'm not dreaming course, this. As you all know, the it's real. Has been I can since tell. The early 1800s. Your generation so I can go back in time. For selfie expression. What if that girl so, isn't dead yet? I couldn't resist. The point can I save her? Portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography. For I need to go to the bathroom quickly and check it out. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please? Tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the. Uh, I have to use the bathroom. I'm sorry, but I really have to use the bathroom. Nice try, Max. But you're not gonna get away that easy. We can talk more after class. Is there anybody oh, here shit. who knows their stuff? Jefferson wants to keep me Louis after class. And I need time to save that girl. Types? A process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. What if I rewind again process, and give him the right answer? Fine detail in people's faces, mm -hmm. making them extreme. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the convert. Why? The Daguerrean process, invented by a French painter named. 
Louise Daguerre, around 1830. Somebody has been reading as well as posing. Nice work, Max. Yay. <sighs> the Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular, mainly because it gave the subjects clear defined features. You can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Max is so far way ahead of everyone. No. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Max, you are not crazy. You are not dreaming. It's time to be an everyday hero. Yes, Victoria, you still have to do your homework this week. I see you, Max Caulfield. Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. No. I'd never let one of photography's... I'm not avoiding, just... Biding time? Waiting for the... Elusive right moment? Yeah, exactly. Max, don't wait too long. John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Go on now. Don't let me stop you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Let me, let me go. Why can't I go? You want me to go back? Yes, Victoria, you still have to do your homework this week. Even if you're submitting your photo for the competition, everybody... I see you, Max Caulfield. Damn it! Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. I'd never let one of photo... John Lennon said... I'm on top of it. I think John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Max, you're on fire today. All the right answers, good. Make sure you finish working on it by today. I have faith in you. Thank you, Senor. Senor Jefferson. There we go. I hope I have enough time to get to the bathroom. Please, please. I can't tell anybody. They'll think I'm crazy. Move it. Jesus. Now I can move faster. This is nice. Okay, Max, retrace every step. Do we still have our picture or no? I washed my face. I shredded my photo. Then the butterfly flew in. And I took a photo. Leave them out of this bitch. I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Don't Come on, put that thing down! Tell me what to do. I'm so I need sick. a hammer to break it open. To control me! You are going Don't to I get have a hell of more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! Too late. Oh. Holy shit, I can't let this happen. If I can reverse time again, I can help her. You are going to get in hell of more trouble for uh, this than I'm drugs. I'm so bad at Nobody this. Would Ever even missed your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! Damn it! Huh. Worse than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! Damn it! Okay, we're gonna go back further. Tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people trying to control me. You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? No way. Don't ever touch me again, freak. Got him. Another shitty day. That did not happen. This cannot be real. I just saw a girl get shot and then saved her. What the fuck is going on? Word, my homie. Do not freak out. Hey, 
Do you hear that fire alarm? That means you should be outside. I had to use the bathroom. Girls always use that excuse. Excuse for what? For whatever you're up to. Your face is covered in guilt. The alarm tripped me out. Then trip on out of here, Missy. Or are you hiding something? Huh? Thank you, Mr. Madsen. The situation is under control. There's no emergency here. Leave Miss Caulfield alone and please turn off that alarm since that's your job. Ha! That's right. Back away. Step off! Step off! Oh, we need to talk to him, actually. You look a little stressed out. Are you, Are you okay? okay? I'm... I'm just a little worried about my future. Are you sweating pinballs? Is that all you're thinking about? You can always be up front with me, Max. Or have you done something wrong? Is that it? Well, Max, talk to me. Uh, hide the truth. I just got sick in class. Um, uh, female trouble. Except you're wandering around like a zombie. And do you think that's the first time a student has used that line on me? It's the truth. I felt dizzy in Mr. Jefferson's Just class. Just tell me what you're hiding. You can trust me. There's nothing to hide. I got sick. It happens, you know. There's that team toot again. You know, I've, I've heard enough. Don't think I don't know what goes on around here. You don't. You've only been here for three weeks, and you're already causing conflict. What? I don't think your parents will approve when they find out. Find out what? Now get outside with the class. Please. No, he does not buy that at all. I may have just flushed my scholarship down the toilet. Okay, I'm going to end this episode here. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a comment and a like down below. Um, especially letting me know if you want me to continue this series. And I'm just, I'm kind of doing it because they're coming out with a second Life is Strange soon. So I wanted to kind of replay this to refresh my memory on it. But yeah, if you like this, please hit the subscribe button. It really helps me out and it makes my day. So thank you so much in advance for that. And if you'd like to follow me on social media, all of the information is in the description below. Bye, guys.